Welcome to the second tutorial for Russell 2 for Ontario. In the first tutorial, you learned how to set up Russell 2 on your computer. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use Russell 2 to make a simple estimation of soil loss from a hill slope using the profile view. Please press continue in the bottom right hand corner to advance to the next slide. For our example, we will estimate the average annual soil loss from a hill slope at the Allura Research Station, located in Wellington County, just north of Guelph. I will assume that the soil type is Guelph loam and that it was mold board plowed in the fall and cultivated two times the following spring, prior to planting the grain corn on May 1st. If this profile view is not displayed on your screen, go to File, Open, Profile and click Default. Alternatively, you can click the Open Profile icon that is in the shape of a green slope and open Default. If in the previous tutorial you selected Profile View to be your default on Startup, Russell 2 will open this view automatically. Go to File, Open to select an alternative view. Next, save this profile so you can keep the calculation on record. To do this, go to File, Save As, and save it as Tutorial Example. We will build upon this profile in the next tutorial. You can also save the profile by clicking the Save As button on the top toolbar. The name you give your profile will be displayed at the top of the profile window. Entering information in the profile window involves following a series of steps, which are shown along the left-hand side of the window. These steps resemble how you would estimate soil loss using the old USLE equation, where average annual soil loss A equals R times K times LS times C times P. Please note that for all of the tutorials in this series, I will complete the calculations using US customary units. However, if you prefer to work in SI units, you can easily switch to this by clicking on Options and selecting Change All Displayed Units to SI Customary. In Step 1, Choose your location and set a climate. This is similar to selecting the R factor in the USLE equation. Click the drop-down menu beside Location and double-click on the county or region your site is located in. Double-click again on the climate station closest to your site. For our example, the climate station closest to the Allura Research Station happens to be the Allura Research Station. In step two, select the hill slope's dominant soil type. This is similar to choosing the K factor in the USLE equation. From the drop-down menu, double-click on your county. For my example, it is Wellington County. Double-click on the folder that best represents your soil's organic matter level. If you're unsure about the organic matter level, select the folder that says 2 to 4 PCTOM, as soil organic matter is often in this range. Once inside this folder, select your soil type. I will select Guelph Loam. Alternatively, you could select the Generic Soils folder from within Russell 2 and click on the Soil Surface Texture class and organic matter level that you think best describes your site soil. While this second option may not be the most accurate way to describe your soil type, it will give you a reasonable soil loss estimate. If you're unsure about the type of soil on your field site, refer to a county soil map for your area. These can be found by searching Soils Ontario on the internet. The first link that appears is the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs Soils Ontario webpage. Click on this. Once here, along the left-hand side, you should see 
Soil, Survey Maps, and Reports. Follow this link to select and review soil reports of interest. With the soil type now selected, the next step is to enter in your hill slope characteristics, which is similar to the LS factor in the USLE equation. The OMAFR basic screen only allows you to enter in simple, straight line slopes. If you want to describe a convex, concave, or S-shaped hill slope, or to identify different soil types as you move down the hill slope, you will need to use the OMAFRA Segmented Slope User Template. Please watch the next tutorials to help guide you through this. As well, if you are unsure how to measure field slopes, view the How to Measure Field Slopes video or read the document How to Measure Field Slopes. These have been provided for you on the OMAFRA website with the Russell 2 information. For the Allure example, we have determined that the slope length is 300 feet long with an average grade of 2%. We enter these here. The fourth step in calculating your soil loss potential is to describe the cropping and tillage management practices being used. This is similar to selecting a C factor in the USLE equation. Next to base management, select the Ontario Crop Management Zone or the CMZ underscore zero N folder. First, double click on the crop type being grown and then double click on the management practice that best describes how it is being grown. For my mold board plowed corn example, in the row crops folder, I choose corn, grain corn. Next, I choose fall plow or FP, field cultivate, F cult, in the spring as my management practice description. Do not worry about the different fertilizer application methods as they have little impact on erosion rate estimates. You may not see management options that exactly represent your crop and tillage practices. If this is the case, you have three options. Option one, select an existing practice that most closely represents your situation. In most cases, this will give you a reasonable soil loss estimate. Option two, you can build and save your own custom management. This takes more time and experience working with Russell 2, but your managements can be saved in the My Managements folder for your personal use. To demonstrate, say I wanted to change the planting date from May 1st to May 5th. Click the yellow folder beside your selection and change the operations or dates to match what you want. Select File, Save As, and navigate to the OMAFRA Local Managements folder represented as My Managements. Once here, name your base management and save it. When you hit Save, a box will appear. Select the third option that says Replace only the reference from where you drilled into the old file with a reference to this new one. Click OK. Option 3. Open the My Managements folder and double click the default option. Click on the yellow folder beside the selection and enter your desired dates and operations. Start with the first pass across the field after the harvest of the previous crop and continue to the harvest of the current crop. When completed, select File, Save As, and save it under the Local Management's folder. You can also describe and save common rotations in Russell 2. We will demonstrate rotation building in a separate tutorial. The fifth step asks what supporting practices are being used to reduce soil loss from the hill slope. In the old USLE equation, this was referred to as the support practice factor, or P-factor. 
In Russell 2, the supporting practices are placed into three general categories or input types, contouring, vegetative filter strips, and terracing. With Ontario's complex topography, true terracing of our field slopes is rare. Leave the terracing window set at none. Vegetative filter strips help trap soil that has eroded from the upper portions of the slope. In this example, I will leave this practice set as none as well. However, you may want to test how a buffer placed at the bottom of your hill slope can influence soil loss and sediment delivery. Contouring refers to the direction of tillage and planting traffic along the hill slope. Crop rows up and downhill is the default entry. It is used if no particular attention is paid to the direction of tilling and planting along a field's hill slope. Perfect contour cropping, though not common, results when tillage and planting occur exactly perpendicular to a field's hill slope. There are many other angles in between as shown from the drop-down list. For example, an absolute row grade of 1% means the contouring is on a 1% grade across the slope, which is not a perfect contour, but it is better than up and downhill. Select the practice that best describes what is occurring on your field's hill slope. In our Elora Research Station example, rows up and downhill best describes our current practice. I have now given Russell 2 all of the information it needs to estimate the long-term soil erosion rate from the example field. At the bottom of the window, you will see a results and an additional results tab. Under the results tab, the soil loss potential is shown. It is referred to here as soil loss for conservation planning, expressed in tons per acre per year. In the Allura example, the estimated soil loss is 1.5 tons per acre per year. Below this soil loss estimate is the T value, also expressed in tons per acre per year. Soil loss rates that exceed this T value are considered excessive or unsustainable. In other words, the soil is eroding faster than it is being generated on the hill slope. The goal of conservation planning is to ensure your erosion rates do not exceed this T value. In the example, I am below the tolerable soil loss rate. Remember, if you would like a more detailed description of the values displayed, simply right-click on the titles and select Help from the pop-up list. Clicking on the Additional Results tab will give you additional information related to the soil erosion occurring along your hill slope. Soil loss from the eroding portion of the hill slope, measured in tons per acre per year, identifies the average soil loss from the part of the hill slope that is experiencing net soil detachment or loss. Sediment delivery, measured in tons per acre per year, is the amount of soil sediment that leaves from the bottom of the hill slope. With simple, straight slopes, the soil erosion occurring along the slope is equal to the sediment load leaving the bottom of the slope. For more complex slope shapes, like concave and S-shaped slopes, the delivery amount will be different from the eroded amount. In the lower right-hand corner is the Soil Conditioning Index, or SCI. The SCI assesses whether the land management practices described improve or deplete your soil's health over the long term. If the SCI is negative, it indicates that soil health is declining, while a positive value suggests soil health is improving. Click on the yellow folder beside the SCI to display the value for your field. In my example, the SCI 
is 0 0.3. This means that the corn production practices described are resulting in a slight improvement of soil health over time. Finally, clicking on the yellow folder beside surface residue cover values will display an estimate of the residue cover remaining on the soil surface following each field operation. Before leaving Russell 2, try changing the base management practice, step 4a, from fall mold board plowing to strip till or no till. Then see what difference this makes to the estimate of average annual soil loss and the SCI. Also, as touched on earlier, many areas in the program have a help function. To access this function, right-click on the word or area you need assistance with and select Help. To print your erosion prediction results, select File, Print Report, and choose a printing template to open in Microsoft Word. Save the file you have completed here, calling it Tutorial Example. Thank you for watching Module 2 of the Russell 2 tutorial series. You should now be able to estimate the average annual soil loss from a hill slope under a single crop type and tillage practice. The next tutorials will explain how you can represent crop rotations and more complex hill slopes in Russell 2. These tutorials are a great introduction to Russell 2. However, there are many different field practices used on Ontario farms that we will not illustrate in the tutorials. Russell 2 has many different windows and features that can help describe the variety of cropping and management options you may use. Try experimenting with Russell 2 to become familiar with its capabilities. Refer to the Russell 2 Program User Guide from the United States Department of Agriculture's website for more help and information. You can find this by going to the USDA's website and searching Russell 2 in the search bar. Click on the first link, scroll down, and click on the Russell 2 Program User Guide. We hope that the information in these tutorials will help you compare the different soil health benefits of alternative management practices. If you have any questions as you apply Russell 2 for Ontario, contact the Agricultural Information Contact Centre toll-free at 1-877-424-1300 ag.info.omafra at ontario.ca and they will connect you with a technical specialist.